Welcome back Hermes lovers! My name is Tanya. I also love Hermes. This video is going to be a good one, a highly requested hot topic. This video is going to be for seasoned Hermes shoppers who have run into a problem with... Drum roll please! An Hermes sales associate. I get asked all the time and in my direct messages on Instagram, my DMs are always full of questions. Tanya, how do we change an Hermes sales associate? So in this video, we will be talking about one, how to pick an Hermes sales associate, two, to actually understand if you need to change an Hermes sales associate, and three, how to change an Hermes sales associate if you need to. Again, this video is based on my personal Hermes journey. I came close once to changing my Hermes sales associate. So I will be talking about my personal experience and what I recommend. You get to decide if this is something that works for you and that you'd like to try in your own Hermes journey. So implement at your own risk. And we will have a bonus unboxing at the end of the video. So if you want to see something that I got that is super, super, super duper limited edition, even harder to get than a Birkin sometimes, watch till the end. Let's get started with how to choose an Hermes sales associate. Having the right sales associate will either make or break your Hermes journey. I cannot stress enough that it is extremely important to pick your sales associate well and stick to them. I have made many videos on that on my Instagram. I don't think that people understand the importance of having the right person on your side and how to choose one. If I were to start my Hermes journey from the beginning, I would go to an Hermes store that is closest to me and then chat with many different sales associates and then see who I click with or vibe with. I would not necessarily buy anything. I would just want to feel the energy of people and then see if I can actually talk to them. I even want to be friends with them because essentially your Hermes sales associate is going to be your Hermes friend. I would go on maybe different dates. I would go on a weekend and I would go on a weekday and then afterwards I would make up my own mind. I would be like, you know what, this is the person that I would like to buy from. So when you make that decision, stick to your sales associate and wait for miracles. Now, which leads us to the second part of this video, when to know if you need a change or not. If you have been wanting a quota bag such as a Birkin or a Kelly and your sales associate is not giving you a bag, there can be different reasons for them not offering you a bag. One, you're still too new of a client. If you want a Birkin bag the same day that you went to the store, that's probably not going to happen. Unless, of course, you're in Paris. If you need more Paris help, I'm linking my Paris roadmap in the description of this video. But those kind of miracles usually tend to happen only in Paris. In other countries, it takes time. So they would like to see you be an Hermes lover, an Hermes client over a certain period of time. Time. So I would not realistically change a sales associate at least until one year or more into your Hermes journey. If you have been loyal and if you have shopped and spent so much money at the boutique and it's been a year and six months, two years, three years and still no quota bag, then perhaps it's time for a change. Also, if you have been a client for many years but you only come in once a year and you buy a $200 Twilly, I'm sorry, they're not going to offer you a bag. A lot of people say, yeah, but there is a waiting list. The waiting list is a thing of the past. Now there is a wish list and for a sales associate to take down your wish list for a quota bag, you need to be an established client and you need to be spending. So realistically, put in your face at your store once a month and spend about a thousand dollars, more or less, maybe more, maybe less every month. So they need to know that you come in, that you don't resell your things, wear the things that you buy if you're buying shoes or ready to wear, things like that, and you need to spend. So I think, especially in the US, it is not wise to expect a quarter bag offer if you have spent less than one to one. One to one is the ratio of the amount of money that you spend on other Hermes things uh, to the cost of a Birkin, which is let's say $12,000. So if you have spent less than $12,000 in a calendar year and you're expecting a Birkin, maybe there are some other people that spend a lot more than you and have been waiting for a Birkin longer. So of course your sales associate is not going to pick you. So that's why 
you need to know if you have spent at the very least one to 1.5, sometimes two in certain stores, two, one, which is a quarter bag. So if you have spent $20,000 and it's been a year and you're still not getting a quarter bag offer, it's time for a change. But if you have spent $2,000 and it's been two years and you have been to the Hermes store twice, then perhaps it's not the sales associate's fault, it is your fault. So I don't think it's fair to put that on the sales associate. Now we're getting to the third part of the video and perhaps the most requested part. Okay, so you have shopped, it's been a long time, you're not in a very competitive store and you have spent a lot of money. Let's say that you have spent double the quota bag price. What do you do then? Or let's say your sales associate is not treating you well, you have another problem, you want to switch. I would be very, very, very careful about it. This definitely requires some prior planning and again, being very careful and cold headed about this. Again, polite, cold headed, not doing anything rash. You need to think about if it's worth it. Then what I would do is I would definitely be on my best behavior. I would be super polite. I would go to Hermes on my sales associates day off. I would try to talk to other sales associates to see who I vibe with. So I would choose a sales associate that I would like to work with. And then depending on how much money you have spent, if you have spent like two or three to one, quarter bag ratio and you're not in a competitive boutique and you want to change sales associate I would politely ask to speak to the manager and please I cannot stress it enough politely politely and then explain the situation and say something like I am a lover of the brand I have been a client here for many years or I have been a client here for some time and I have shopped and I would really love a bag is there anything you can do for me and then see what they say and then I would determine the next steps after the manager's reply if they ask you why haven't you been happy with your current sales associate or if you'd like to switch you better have a reason to and the fact that they're not giving you a quarter back technically it's not an official reason for Hermes they will say something like oh yes you know we just haven't had enough merchandise everybody wants one somebody's been waiting longer than you so you better have a reason like you can say something like my sales associate is not replying to me or my sales associate is busy or I don't know, express your feelings to them, but again, in a very polite way. And I feel like this is such a taboo topic because I always say, avoid talking to Hermes managers unless it's a friendly interaction, unless it's, hello, nice to meet you. Thank you so much for everything you do. So I always say the people that demand to speak to Hermes managers, change their essays, go back and forth between essays, are very rarely rewarded with bags and specifically good bags you want to be a nice client and not pain in you know so just be very polite if you are going to speak to the manager be very polite about it and have your reasons and have your concerns and try to appeal to the manager and ask to work with a sales associate that you prefer so after speaking to the manager a few things can happen right they can put you in touch with a new sales associate they can say you know what you're definitely on the list you're right we'll we'll try to get you a bag or they'll say yes we understand thank you so much for your concern and then I recommend just waiting for a few weeks, maybe a month or two. Usually an offer will follow because if you have had an interaction with a manager and you handled it well and you were polite and you had legitimate reasons for wanting to switch your sales associate, usually an offer will follow. There is another way if you're not comfortable of speaking to a Hermes manager, there is another way, but I have personally not tried it, which is just going to the store and shopping with another person. I know that they 
don't like it that much and in some stores they don't even allow it but in some stores the customer is always right so if you just want to go in and start shopping with another person that you like better you are a customer you're in your own full rights to do so so i guess it's up to you to decide which approach you want and if it is time for a switch i always say just especially if you have spent a lot of money just stay until the offer with the same person or it really pays off to be with the same person and be loyal to one sales associate that's why i always recommend being very careful when you choose an Hermes sales associate in the first place. So I hope that this video is very, very helpful for you. Now onto the bonus unboxing. We have the super limited edition Guerlain perfume. This perfume is harder to get than a Birkin. It is only sold for a few days out of a year. Every year they create a new bottle and they partner with uh, artists in Europe to customize the bottle. So every year the bottle will be different. I still have not used my previous year of this perfume. I still have the perfume, but this bottle was so nice. It was actually a gift from my husband, Mr. Antonin Kova. I don't know how he managed to track it, but he tracked down the first one and this one as well so i don't know how he does it it's pure magic if you want me i can ask him so comment if you want me to ask but this this is just art if you're here for our mess i think that you enjoy art so we are going to look at it it comes in this beautiful box with the bees i already unpacked it unboxing was already on my instagram reel so let's get into it also there's so many testers there was a bow so beautiful again this box has the guerlain bees and the logo just so beautiful of course i'm talking about the oh this is art the lily of the valley perfume this is so beautiful so delicate let's look at the bottle together i'm even going to stand up to show you look at this beautiful bottle and the details this is handmade ceramic again this is just gorgeous and i absolutely love the smell you know there are so many perfume makers that try to replicate the smell of lily of the valley and i just feel like all of those perfumes i cannot even stand not even close and they don't capture the true essence of lily of the valley which is the most delicate one of the most wonderful smells that exists at least for me i grew up with lily of the valley in my backyard and I'm very familiar with the smell and even a short stem of lily of the valley will fill up the room with the most beautiful smell and this smells exactly like that. Now this is a full bottle usually Guerlain will give and again every year it's different and it will look different every year. They will give a smaller bottle that you can refill and you can actually use. The sprays on the small bottle and not the big bottle and I just like absolutely love it. This is not sponsored by any means so if you want to learn more about Hermes or get my Hermes tips feel free to subscribe to my channel with love